can actually look so far out that we can see almost back to 13.8 billion years ago, which is very close to the Big Bang. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. This, this, and this. What's the main difference you can spot in these photos? You may probably notice that every next image is more precise, sharper, and way more detailed. That's basically the whole game. What OAO2 wasn't able to outdo, Hubble Space Observatory jumped in to save the day, and when Hubble couldn't show us the whole universe, NASA dropped a mega surprise, the James Webb Space Telescope, which was like going from cool photographs to absolutely wow shots. It's not like these observatory instruments bring up to show the wow side of the universe, but it basically shakes up our understanding of the entire cosmos. To understand how JWST shakes up our understanding of the universe, Let's rewind to 13.8 billion years ago, when a hot, dense, and tiny fireball dropped out of nowhere, and with time, it exploded into this big-ass universe we know today. Simply put, when, how, and where this fireball came from is a never-ending mystery, but scientists named it a Big Bang Collapse. Since then, the Big Bang Theory has been the cornerstone of science cosmology. It says that for 13.7 billion years, the cosmos has been stretching. The fireball keeps exploding at a measurable rate, causing more celestial bodies, unimaginable galaxies, and what not to challenge our study of the universe. Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian cosmologist, hinted at this expansive universe back in 1931 or around, but it took a while for the idea to catch on. His idea was, the universe began with a primeval atom, or a cosmic egg, and it's been growing ever since. We're not really sure, scientifically, that there was a beginning to space and time. In fact, we've been exploring the idea that when you actually uh, replace Einstein's theory with an improved theory of gravity, that you'll find that the Big Bang was not the beginning. This means that galaxies are moving away from each other over time. After that, the term was used in the late 1940s by the astronomer Fred Hoyle, and eventually, it caught the eye in the 1970s. The mind-boggling bang expansion began at a rate greater than the speed of light and unbelievably lasted a mere seconds. Now, that's quite something to ponder about. Can you imagine how such a giant cosmos is created within a fraction of time that's only 10 raised to power minus 32 of a second, according to physicist Alan Guth's 1980 theory? Well, once, the Big Bang was just considered the origin of the universe, but now it has broadened our understanding much beyond. The phenomenon says the universe might be powered with a mysterious dark energy that creates new galaxies and practically more multiverses with unique laws, constants, and properties. However, these dark energy laws picked up the most hype. According to physicists, about 95% of this big-ass space world is consist of dark matter and dark energy. This wasn't just a mere assumption, but it made the scientists scratch their heads while researching it. Dark matter is known to hold all the galaxies closely together, whereas dark energy is responsible for driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. But again, the nature, properties, and origin of these dark entities is still a mystery. And here's where the power of observatories like the JWST comes in, peeling back the layers of the universe and taking us to its darkest corner that no human knew about. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been on a mission to discover all this cosmic chaos. It isn't just any observatory, it is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope the world's been drooling over. If you've been a fan of astros, you might remember the days when peeking into dust clouds and unknown galaxies was like trying to read a book in a sandstorm. But now, those days are light years behind us. The JWST is equipped with a near-infrared camera that Hubble Space couldn't even imagine having, given its low specifications. This infrared camera is nothing less than an ultimate cosmic sneak peek tool. 
It has got astronomers to observe stars and galaxies that were once playing hide-and-seek in visible light. And that's what is helping us to sneak into all the exoplanets, nebulas, and ancient and modern galaxies like never before. While sneaking into the universe, JWST made a shocking discovery of an ancient galaxy that dates back 350 million years ago, right after the Big Bang. This is Glass Z12 that has even broken the record of GNZ11, which is known to drop in the universe 400 million years after its creation. GNZ11 was first identified by the Hubble Space Team in 2016 and was called the farthest known galaxy ever discovered. It was located in the constellation Ursa with some great major redshifts. Take a detailed look at this animation released by the Hubble Observatory to identify the location of GNZ11. But sadly, Hubble Space couldn't dig further with its visible light camera. Thus, James Webb jumped in to drop some hidden bombs. In 2022, JWST released a shocking photograph claiming to locate the ancient galaxy that's even older than the GNZ-11. With the amazing infrared shutter system, JWST's detailed analysis blows up the scientists. This is the photograph where you can clearly see two distant galaxies in the outer regions of the giant galaxy cluster Abel 2744. When you dig deeper, you may notice these entities aren't located within the cluster but quite at a distance, maybe a billion light years away. The part labeled 1 is the Gene Z11, which existed only 450 million years after the Big Bang, whereas the labeled 2 shows the Glass Z12, one of the oldest known galaxies formed just 13.6 billion years after. With the universe's expansion, its present proper distance is 33.2 billion light years. JWST released another detailed photograph where GLZ-12 can be easily detectable with its red dotted appearance. Isn't the universe full of surprises? Take GLZ-12, for example. This little galaxy is giving us some big hints about the first stars, known as Population 3 stars, which might have existed in the early universe. You may think, what the heck is special in it? Well, the GLZ-12 is beautifully shining, super bright, so much noticeable, really compact, and the colors we're seeing are pretty unique. But what makes the scientists go crazy is its no heavy elements presence. The astronomers are sure that it owns some serious secrets of population three stars, as it also has the same appearance, which might be extremely bright and made only from the lightest elements, hydrogen and helium. However, they are also not 100% sure, but it seems like JBUST isn't going to rest until we are dead sure about what GLZ-12 brought up in the universe. Till then, let's slide our eyes to another ancient galaxy, Jade's GSZ-130. On 29th of September 2022, JWST released some more spectacular photographs of another distant galaxy, with a surprising travel distance of 13.6 billion years ago. It's located in the Great Observatory's Origins Deep Survey, South Field, in the constellation Fornax, including the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Scientists say that as the universe is still ballooning up until it bursts, it might be possible that Jade GSZ 130's present proper distance is a whopping 33.6 billion light years. Can you imagine? That's like trying to find the length of noodles, which never ends. Strange though, it's beyond a mystery how these tiny galaxies were formed this early after the Big Bang. But whatsoever, the JWST is really putting efforts into opening this chaotic mess. However, here's another kicker. You won't believe it, but a recent study in April 2023 claimed that JGSZ-130 isn't in fact a galaxy, but a dark star with a mass of around a million times that of the Sun. Now, only God knows what's causing this fuss. While bringing up hot insights about ancient and modern galaxies, the James Webb Telescope sneaked further and hooked up to nebulas that are often referred to as cosmic cliffs. These nebulas are stellar nurseries. You won't believe it, but it's another beautiful world of colorful, dusty clouds, hydrogen, helium, and other ionized gases in space. The nebulas are known to be the birthplace of giant stars, but are also considered the remnants of dead or dying stars. In 2013, the Hubble Space Team was the first to come up with this amazing photograph of nebulae. With this just one spectacular detailed image, the scientists concluded that the ring nebulae are must roughly elliptical if we see from Earth. 
This telescope may not incorporate a high infrared camera, but look at this beauty. Can you tell if this pretty sight of the universe lacks any detailing? After a behemoth amount of research on its evolution, structure, and motion, the Astro team named it a distorted donut-looking ring nebulae. Guess what the incredible Hubble Space Team found out? They spotted loads of places where stars are born within nebulae, providing insights into star birth and evolution processes. Not only this, but this Astro Team was literally one of its kind. They dug above and beyond to find the presence of protostars and young stellar objects within nebulae, which are crucial for understanding celestial life cycles. Well, that was just the beginning, because now you're going to gasp in AW with what JWST released that almost took the internet by storm. With its camera superiority, JWST revealed intricate details of this well-known planetary nebulae. It was what the Hubble Space Team captured, but take a look at what JWST released. You can clearly notice the difference between composition and detailing, which is why this James Webb telescope has no replacement. It has unraveled all the intricate details scientists have been dying to have for a long time. The images from Webb's NearCam show the intricate filament structure of the inner ring of the nebula containing around 20,000 dense globules rich in molecular hydrogen. Once, these nebulae were considered simple round objects in appearance, but modern observation has totally turned the game as it says ring nebulae have great structure, complexity. They are literally an ideal target to unravel the mysteries of planetary nebulae due to their proximity, 2200 light years away, and their visibility through binoculars in summer. Webb's teams also found up to 10 regularly spaced concentric features within the faint molecular halo outside the bright ring, saying there might be companion stars in this binary system. However, that's just not the end of the game. The JWST team is now an expert in digging ahead and ahead, and just like that, they once released these breathtaking details of Carina Nebulae. Look at the photographs the astronomers shared. They found an actual star-forming region within this nebulae called NGC 3324, located almost a whopping 7,600 light-years away. However, here's a kicker. NGC 3324 was first calculated by James Dunlop in 1826. But JWST took on this mission to reveal the intricate patterns of this stellar region no one could even imagine. The images of these cosmic cliffs were seen as three-dimensional, providing greater insights into what is located above and beyond the Carina. They shed light on how stars generate and propagate over time, and what's a great delicate balance between sparking and stopping star formation. In 2022, the James Webb Telescope released intriguing photographs of Orion Nebulae, and it was bomb. It's located no less than 1350 million light years away, and not to our surprise, you can still sneak into its amazing patterns beneath the three-starred belt of Orion. Take a look at these two photos. The Hubble Space Team shared the first one, which is certainly low in contrast, and so did the detailing. When you look closely with an eye closed, you will see Hubble's image is dominated by scorching ionized gases and slightly lets you sneak into the side of the Orion bar that faces the trapezium cluster. However, the JWST-1 is more detailed and shows cooler molecular gases that are a little away from the trapezium cluster. Though, hop into this photograph that's smartly labeled. The image combines light from several filters to represent hot gas, cool gas, hydrocarbons, as well as scattered starlight from massive stars. There are as few as 40 astronomical units revealed, roughly the size of Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Enough about nebulas. Let's talk about exoplanetary wonders now. The JWST team is sure there's life outside our solar system. They've been striving hard to discover the habitable planets that can potentially generate life. Can you imagine a world where humans would exist? That certainly sounds a little spooky, but that's what JWST says and firmly believes. The team found a sodium-rich atmosphere in the most well-known exoplanet, WASP-96b. It was discovered in 2014 and is said to be almost 1150 light-years from Earth and orbits its star every 3.4 days. In 2022, the James Webb team found evidence of water and hints of clouds and haze in the atmosphere of this hot, puffy gas giant planet which orbits a distant star. This gas giant is located in the Phoenix constellation, and has nearly no direct analog in our solar system. 
Its mass is roughly half of Jupiter. It's more puffy than any planet you can ever come across, and surprisingly so hot that you can't dare venture close to its orbit owing to the 1,000 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Can you believe the Webb team? They didn't just kick back and relax after hyping up one exoplanet. No way. These scientists are like cosmic detectives, getting more and more excited about the possibility of discovering life, even if they find the tiniest clues. Trappist BB is another planet with just the right stuff to host life. And James Webb has made significant observations about it. The observatory discovered the planet's dayside temperature of about 500 kelvins. This exoplanet has no substantial atmosphere and orbits its star at a distance of 0.011 AU, completing one circle in just 1.51 Earth days. However, the observatory team didn't make final statements as its atmosphere is still unclear. But they have listed TRAPPIST-1b among exoplanets that say there might be some possibilities of life that will open up later. Not only these, but the James Webb Telescope also discovered some other exoplanets, K218b, Kepler-186f, Proxima Centauri b, and Ross-128 b, that are said to have great potential of generating life. However, the James Webb Space Observatory marked its first anniversary just recently with the revealing of spectacular photographs of the Rho Ophiuchi Cloud Complex, the closest star-forming region to Earth. The Rho Ophiuchi has intricate textures that reveal the jet-bursting of young stars impacting the surrounding interstellar gas and lighting up molecular hydrogen, shown in red. When you look closer, some stars in the image hint towards the presence of circumstellar disks. It's located almost 390 light-years and contains nearly 50 young stars, similar in mass to the Sun or smaller. These images provided an excellent in-depth understanding of galaxies, stars, and the atmospheres of planets outside of our solar system. In 2022, NASA's James Webb Observatory also observed intricate details of the protostar within the dark cloud L1527, located in the Taurus star-forming region, unveiling greater insights into the early stage of star formation. The protostar is hidden underneath the neck of an hourglass shape and is approximately 100,000 years old. There is somewhere between 20 and 40 percent mass of our sun, and it is still wrapped in a dark cloud of dust and gas. The photograph that JWST shared reveals ejections from the star whose boundaries glow orange and blue in this infrared view. The orange and blue colored clouds outline the cavities, shoot away from the protostar, and collide with surrounding matter. The blue area of the image represents the areas where dust is the thinnest, whereas the orange ones are said to be the thickest dust. In the same year, the James Webb Telescope made another fascinating discovery, and this time it was about the Beta Pictoris. It's a young star located only 63 light years away and has dusty disks all around its surroundings. Though this planet is young, it hosts at least two planets and numerous smaller rocky bodies. After releasing some spectacular details about Beta Pictoris on July 12th, the JWST has been on a mission to observe its atmosphere closely while focusing on the debris disk and the effects of collisions between asteroids, comets, planetesimals, and other small bodies. While sneaking into these stellar nurseries, the James Webb Telescope also delves deep into the mysteries of black holes. The Space Observatory is highly invested in discovering the universe's early mystery through black holes. It said when the universe was only four to six billion years old, it had been feeding supermassive black holes. That's why finding the probability of its origin is likely easy. The observatory team also studied a region of space called the Extended Groth Strip, containing an estimated 50,000 galaxies, and believe it helps characterize how the universe looked in its early days. And here's the cool part. Their study might help us understand more about the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius AA, that's chilling and slowly munching away at the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. However, JWST also released further investigations about Sagittarius AO, but let's just keep this talk someday. Simply put, the James Webb and its discoveries indeed alter our understanding of the universe. Once in a world where no one could imagine venturing into space, but now it's somehow normalized. If not humans themselves, but the satellites and high-end telescopes are orbiting to sneak into the cosmos. 
So let's end the video here. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know what JWST Discovery is your favorite.